Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this lecture, we will talk about expressions. We have used expressions many times till now. So in this lecture, we will describe what is expressions. So expression is just a statement that evaluate to a value. In simple words, JavaScript expression evaluate to produce a value. Variable is also an expression that evaluate to whatever value has been assigned to that variable. So the most common way to build complex expression is with an operator. We will talk about operator in the next tutorial, but for now, let's take a look at the primary expressions. So what is primary expression? The simple expression is also known as primary expression. So primary expression in JavaScript is constant or literal values. It can be variable reference or certain language reserved keywords. You already know that literals are just a constant value that are embedded in the program directly. They are look like this. So I will just say 5.30. So this is a number literal and you can also say daily here. This is a string literal. And some of the JavaScript reserve words are also expressions, just like null, true, and false. And finally, the third type of JavaScript expression is a bare variable. It will be look like this str is just a variable evaluate to a value of the variable str undefined it is a global variable not a keyword like null so null is the keyword and undefined is a global variable when you specify identifier in the expression javascript assume this identifier as a variable and look up its value if no variable found or no value exists then javascript evaluate to undefined value now let's take an example and understand expressions so i will just create an example here and i will declare a variable so i will say let y then on the second line i will say y is equal to 4 multiply by 5 and specify semicolon at the end and to print this value, I will say console.log and specify y variable here. So this expression dissolve the number. When you execute this code, you will get 20 on the console. Now let's take a look at the common operation in expression, which is multiplication. It makes sense that multiplication is an expression. When you multiply two operand, you will get the result. Now in this example, the first line will declare a variable y. So the more interesting thing is that there is two combined expressions on the second line. We first multiply two numbers and resolve to the value 20. And then there is an assignment operator that assign the value 20 to the variable y. So if I just declare one more variable here and assign it to y variable, so then it will look like this. So I will just add a variable here. So I will just specify comma and specify j. Now I will assign the y variable value to the j variable. So I will just say here j equal to y, right? Now let me explain this example. So now here multiplication and assignment both are expressions. When you execute this statement, JavaScript will first solve multiplication expression and assign 20 value to variable y. But still, when you print variable j, you will get undefined value. When JavaScript specify variable 20 value to y variable, just after that assignment expression will assign 20 value to the variable j. So the execution process done one after another, right? When you're using operator, just like multiplication or assignment are known as operator expressions. When you're using any operator in expression, 
than this expression known as operator expressions. In this example, multiplication consists of a multiplication operator which is asterisk sign and add two operands. Operands means the number you are trying to multiply. So here 4 and 5 is your operand and asterisk is your operator. But there is two expressions that are not operator expressions. Identifier expressions and literal expressions. A variable and a constant is itself an expression. Along with that, literals is also itself an expression. So in short, everything that result in the value is an expression. Right? That's it. I hope you understand what is expressions are all about. I ask a question in the comment. Answering that question will increase your knowledge. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.